Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Now this is an update video of uh, anyone who's following me. It's probably not on many of you, but other people may find this interesting anyway if you've stumbled across it, about this Noob Sound 6P1 amplifier. Chinese amplifier, uh, on sale, AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, places like that. Now I just want to bring to your attention a few things about this. Also I'm going to give a sound demo. That demo, you know, I'll put this up after this video. It's going to be quite a few different demos I'm going to put up. Uh, before I've actually done any alterations inside, after I've done some alterations inside, then I'm going to do some comparisons there. I thought we sanded against this Sansui, uh, the Sansui 101. These are kind of amplifiers and receivers that's got that kind of tube sound. They're, they're the nearest ones I've got in my collection that's got that tube sound. And as it happens, it comes pretty close. The, the, the difference between these two is not a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, they're, they're quite similar. Um, but we'll come on to that later on. This is just talking about you know what I'm doing I'm putting like some demonstration videos up and that's not going to be to everyone's taste you may want to just have a quick listen it's going to be loads of little tracks uh, a little bit of jazz or something towards the end a little bit of classical as well but it's going to be quite a few tracks so hopefully you can get an idea of maybe how much bass how much top end it's got different clarity between obviously this is hard on YouTube it doesn't always become apparent and easy to listen to and it's probably better off getting a pair of headphones and listening into that way crank up the volume I think you'll get more of an idea of how they sound against each other you're going to see a picture of that particular unit, i.e. this unit, uh, on, on, on this DVD player with the speakers. That's what I'm using. Then it flick over to this, this unit with the speakers, and that's what I'm using. So the first one I'm going to put up is this Noob Sound against the 331 sound comparison. The speakers I'll be using are going to be bald and short 35 Ti's. Uh, so it just gives you some kind of idea how they sound against each other, i.e. like say the top end and bass. Right, it still has a few problems. If you went and bought this as is, uh, doing no modifications, just bought as is, there is a few problems with this amplifier. I wouldn't have known it myself, I must admit, wouldn't have had a clue really, I would have done by most people, I think, come home, plugged it in, listened to it, and think, oh, this sounds okay or whatever, and not really paid much more attention. The transformer would have got fairly hot, the valves would have got fairly hot, and I would have thought, you know, look on the internet, etc., and people say these get hot, etc. So I would have accepted that, and I would have thought as it is. But this uh, YouTuber, uh, I stumbled across her and uh, brought to my attention uh, that this amplifier here uh, could be running at the wrong voltages inside. Uh, I ain't going to go too technical because I don't know a great deal about valves myself. It's all new to me uh, at the moment. But uh, the heater is supposed to be running at 6.3 volts. Uh, depending if we're in America or in the UK, depends what transformer they've got this big transformer, what it is, what the taps are, and all that kind of etc. If it's wired up for 240 volts, 220 volts here in the UK, if it's wired up for 110 or 117 volts in America, etc. Depending on what transformer we've got inside, you may have to do some uh, adjustments, and you probably are going to have to do some adjustments. Uh, uh, Skunky Design Electronics goes into it a lot more than me, but I will come up with it, and I will mention this in, in future videos. So what I'm saying, if you're going to go and buy one of these now, I'll hang fire a little bit, just to make sure... You know it's a bit more involved than maybe you think it's going to be because for first of all at the moment i'm running this with a little transformer here called an auto transformer just until i sort out a few more bits inside i want to do uh, then i'm going to do a sound test against this sand so this being modified change some capacitors etc and i may just do a little bit of tube rolling as well uh, throw that into the mix so it can be quite involved i'm going to do quite a few videos on this really this is going to be an amplifier apart from the sansui 101 that i kind of use in a lot of tests with speakers etc probably going to be an amplifier you're going to see quite a few videos off i'm afraid but it works well, so it may be an interest to some people so uh, yeah i've got this little auto transformer which it basically at the moment is knocking down the uh here in the uk i'm up it's between 238 and 241 voltage i'm getting here where i live uh, I'm knocking this down to about 225 volts using this little transformer here. Uh, that's bringing down some of the uh, higher voltages in here to the levels they should be. For instance, on the uh, 6P1 anode, it's supposed to be 250 volts max. Uh, but if you buy it out of the box, I've tested the voltages on here. And if you didn't, if you didn't have that little transformer, it would read about 276 volts. So as you can see, it's 26 volts uh, higher than spec. Uh, so that may be, you know, knock this valve out a little bit quicker. Uh, also, uh, the heaters here are just perfect. You know, as is on the 240 volts, they're measuring 6.3 volts. That's perfect. But running this little transformer, they're getting knocked down now to about 5.75, 5.8 volts, 
which is borderline, they can still run on that kind of thing, and it's okay. I've had a look around and uh, going by quite a few uh, different people's opinions, that, that's okay, you can just uh, underrun them a little bit, you won't want to overrun them maybe, you may knock them out, you know, knock these tubes out by maybe running them at 6.8 volts or something like that. And some people even say run them at a less voltage, a slightly less voltage like that, 5.7, 5.8. We'll actually make the tubes last longer but this is all speculative speculative or whatever the word is you know what i'm saying uh so you know it's nothing in concrete i don't think so what we're going to try and do what i'm going to try and do is get the eaters at 6.3 and get that voltage down inside to 250 so i've ordered a few little more parts etc that i'm gonna have to little tinker around a little bit of experiment and that and i'll come back and obviously uh, tell you my findings my results etc but just bear in mind if you're going to go and buy this amplifier now that the voltages inside could be wrong. Uh, what I did do is I took the uh, uh, cut under cover off. Now be extremely careful if you did this uh, because there's some very, very high voltages in here uh, that can kill you. So be very careful if you did this. Don't touch anything inside. Make sure it's been unplugged for a day or two just to be on the safe side. Uh, you know, if you've, got, if you've got it running, for instance, uh, leave the CD playing and just turn it off and this will continue playing for about another eight seconds, something like that. You hear the, the sound kind of fading away and that will hopefully drain the capacitors inside. So when you do take the cover off, if you've accidentally touched anything, you're not gonna get a sudden shot. But it's, 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 it's entirely up to you. It's uh, your risk, you're taking by uh, taking the uh, under cover off. But on mine, it's got 240 volts on the transformer. So it's kind of made for 240 volts, but it isn't, it's still wrong. Like I say, it's still giving the wrong voltages inside, even though it says 240 volts on the transformer. You could be a bit more unlucky and get a 220 volt transformer inside, so then voltage is going to be even higher because that's a 220 volts in here in the UK. It's between about 238 and 241, something like that. So just be really, really careful. Maybe old fire until you go and spend £300, which for this budget channel is a lot of money. But for some people, it's not a lot like you. It's not a lot for some people. But for this budget channel, it's over my budget, really. But I wanted to delve in and have a little uh, listen. You know, I'm quite intrigued about it. And, uh, you know, thought it'd be like a little bit of experiment I can do. And I can put that on the channel as well. Just, you know, diverse it a little bit. Okay, so that's it. So like I say, you're going to see some music uh, demonstrations. There's been quite a few different ones. Uh, I'm going to put an advert at the beginning. Advert at the end. No adverts in between. Hopefully, YouTube are not going to interrupt that at all. Uh, if I don't put them adverts at the beginning and end, YouTube are going to do it anyway. So I might as well do it and get a little bit of money, not a lot, a few pennies, and it's all going to obviously help me buy some more bits and experiment with other stuff, etc. So just bear that in mind. Uh, okay, so that's it at the moment. I'll say thanks for watching, but uh, I will be back soon with uh, another update on this amplifier, me in person, rather than just the music demos. Until then, I'll say goodbye.